Good morning, children. In the last class, we studied about refraction of light through a glass prism. Today, we are going to see about dispersion. What do you mean by dispersion? You have studied this term in your lower classes, right? What is dispersion? Splitting up of white light into different colors is called as dispersion. This you have already studied this definition. Splitting, this word is very important. Okay, splitting. Splitting of white light into seven colors. Which are the seven colors? White is a color, black is a color. Will these colors come in that? No. So we know the acronym we have studied. No? We will see what is this question. Already we have studied this. So we will see that and what are the important things which should be added. No? I will tell you. Okay. This question of white light by a glass prism. If you take a glass prism and if you allow light to pass through and if you keep a screen that side, you will be able to get seven colors. That we used to see in a rainbow. Right? Seven colors. All those seven colors we will be able to see. Five important points we will study about dispersion. The phenomenon of splitting, I told you, this word is very, very important. Okay, splitting. Keep this in mind. The phenomenon of splitting of white light into seven colors is called as what? Dispersion. So, the definition for dispersion is splitting of white colors into seven different colors. This uh, definition is also very important. No need to buy heart it. Just keep this in mind right. Splitting of what? White light into seven colors is called as dispersion. Okay, now seven colors we are studying you now that can also be called as spectrum. The seven colored band. The difference between ray and band we have studied. No? Okay, now the seven colored band is called what? Spectrum. So, if they ask what is spectrum, we should know. This band of seven colors is called as spectrum. This colors can be remembered by an acronym, by a word. What is that? Vidyar. V I V G O I O R. We have studied already. Vidyar. So, that is the third point. In air, the light waves of all colors have same dense velocity. We have studied about this, no? Same velocity. Velocity we have studied. P is in the power A meter per second. So, in air or vacuum, it will be the same. P is in the power A meter per second. White light is a mixture of seven colors. We know that. White light is a mixture of seven colors. Each color has its own wavelength. That is very important. Okay, each color has its own wavelength. Violet will be having the shortest wavelength in the coming uh, classes. I will be asking you about atmospheric refraction, scattering of light when we study. You know, I will ask you which is shortest and which is longest. You should be able to answer. So, violet will be having the shortest wavelength and red will be having the longest wavelength. So, there should be some reason no, why we are using red in the signal and all. Okay, keep this in mind, we will study later. So, characteristic wavelength is there for each and every color. So, we, when you are starting with violet, violet will be having the shortest wavelength and red will be having the longest wavelength. So, just go through this also, okay. They have given the wavelength 4000 and strong. 4500 and strong. What is it and strong? What I am telling? There is a unit of wavelength. See? The unit of wavelength is and strong. It will be represented by you should put one A and one zero above that. Okay? And strong. Find out why we are putting like that. Okay? That will be interesting. 10 to the power minus 10 meter or 0 0.1 nanometer also can be taken. 10 to the power minus 10 meter. This is equal to 10 to the power minus 10 meter. Why is and strong? And strong. See the name of a Swedish physicist. Usually when we are studying about a physicist or a chemist or a biologist or a scientist, we used to 
uh, read something more about this verse. I know the same, the same also. You will try to find something interesting about Anders Jonas Armstrong. Okay, to honor him, we have given the Unitas Armstrong. That is A. Okay, this is just a small hint. You will be able to find it out. I think you find it out. Okay. So while it is 4000 and strong, indigo 4500 and strong, blue 4800 and strong, green 5400, yellow 5800, orange 6000 and this one 7900. For competitive exams and all this will be helpful. Okay, so just go through it. Starting from 4000 to 7900. And what are the other wavelengths also? Okay. The important thing is this is shortest. Which one? Violet is the shortest one, and red will have the longest wavelength. See, this is how I am showing it. This is incident ray, the ray of light which we are allowing. This is one prism, a vapor one prism, and I am allowing white light to pass through. Instead of passing through like that, one pin hole I have made, one small hole in the sheet. And through that, I am allowing light to pass through so that the focus will be on one particular point. This is the incident ray. So the ray is going like this. After hitting the prism, what happens now? Actually, it should pass like this. We have studied that light always travels in a straight line. But what happens? It is refracting. And because of the different wavelength, what happens? See? Starting the violet is having the shortest wavelength. So it will bend more. Okay, shortest wavelength. So bend more. It will bend more. And this will bend less. Okay. So this will bend more. So this is B. Starting from here, you write the next one is I. B blue. G Y O R. With the R. Okay, starting from violet to red, like this we will get. Okay, so it's clear about this version, I think. Five points if they ask you to write about this version. Or your knowledge about this version. What will you tell? The first definition. The phenomenon of splitting of white light into seven colors is called as what? Dispersion. This is the first thing. Second thing is that seven colors which we are forming now, that band, that is called as spectrum. And the colors can be remembered by the word on acronym. That is with the R. Then in air, what is the um, velocity? 3 into the power 8 meter per second. In air as well as vacuum, it is the same. Then white is a mixture of seven colors because and it is having difference because of different wavelength. I have given the wavelength. Then we should know this diagram also. This diagram was also asked from two, three times. Okay, in board exam. This version with the help of a diagram explained. So you will draw a prism and you will show a ray of light is allowed to pass through this, that is incident ray. It will split into seven different colors and this is very important. Most of the time what happens now, they put B here and R here. So keep it in mind that always violet will come down and red will come up. Why? Here the wavelength is very short. Here the wavelength is very long. Short wavelength, so the bending will be more. Short wavelength, so the bending will be more. To keep this in your mind, I will give you an example. Two students we are calling. Okay, to the principal's room, I am calling. And one child is in first standard and the uh, other one is in tenth standard. The first standard child is wearing a shorts. Okay, keep this in mind. Because short wavelength and this boy is wearing a pants. Okay, so violet as well as red. This child is wearing a violet color dress and this boy is wearing a red color dress. Okay. I am telling them, you have misbehaved in the classroom, so you bring your parent tomorrow. What will happen? The small child, first standard child, it will be scared and will start crying. But this boy who is in 10th standard, he will be very stubborn and he will go, okay, man, I will bring. So see the difference. Short wavelength, this is the longer wavelength. Short wavelength, shorter move, so what, it, what this child will do, it will bend. Okay, it will bend more. Here the bending will be less. Like this you can understand or you can have some other example and keep it in your mind. Okay, so this is how dispersion takes place. Next we will see about recombination.